in a communique, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, said that the Rapid Support Forces and the Sudanese military agreed to participate in a multilateral uh, humanitarian uh, forum led by the United Nations to find solutions to obstacles uh, faced by the uh, NGOs and humanitarian workers in Sudan who are trying to assist uh, civilians. According to the communique, they also agreed to create a communication mechanism between the two parties. But uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Arabia said that negotiators were disappointed because uh, both the Rapid Support Forces and the Sudanese military uh, did not uh, agree to organize a ceasefire. And I can tell you that among the uh, political analysts, both from Sudan and uh, international um, I've been able to speak to during the past weeks, uh, nobody believed that it was possible to reach a ceasefire. It was even more impossible given the intensity of the fighting of the past weeks and of the past days, especially in the Darfur region, where the Rapid Support Forces took over several military bases in the cities of El Fashir, Niala, Nertiti, or in El Genina, the capital of West Darfur. In El Genina, as soon as they took over a military base, thousands of refugees flocked in neighboring Sudan, and they said that uh, the Rapid Support Forces killed hundreds of civilians. I've seen videos of uh, civilians, uh, young men, uh, sitting on the ground being beaten by the Rapid Support Forces. I've seen pictures of dozens of bodies uh, laying in the streets wearing civilian clothes. So it's very difficult to believe that uh, the Rapid Support Forces will uh, commit to what they say and that they're really willing to protect civilians.